to you. I am so tired of sitting on the sofa waiting for my tooth to get better. I am not supposed to be doing this. I had to get up and put makeup on. I am sorry my face still looks so ooh, from this big knot, but I just had to get up today and do something. So I um, got up, put something on my face, and thought I'm going to do a hair video because I'm being so patient trying to get the videos back. They're telling me to be patient and I'm doing that. But since there are no hair videos out there and I have requests for them, I'm just going to go ahead and start uploading some more. I have gotten some requests on how to um, blow dry the hair. And right for this look, I don't really do any sort of style. Um, I am going to do the rocker one where it's like up. I just want to get this trimmed a little bit because you kind of have to have this shorter. This is growing super fast. This is the perfect time right now to show you. You know how like a lot of people like to flip the ends out? See how I get a very, a very light look of that without going overboard with the flips. So let's get started. I've already put some of this in my hair, just a tiny little bit. It's a thermal shine solution and it adds shade, maintains your color, and will protect my hair from the um, hair dryer. And I can use that or I can use, there are a lot of products that I, I, you guys know I use Cebu, but I will be, they, you guys are going to find out when I do my rocker look. I am in love with another product from Sally's and it was on sale for $3 and something when I found it. Now, what I'm going to do is mix a little bit of Cebu Moosely because regular mousse the, mousse, the foam mousse can go at the root. Regular mousse is to be used at least a half an inch down from the root and down. So that's what I'm going to put on my, my roots. And when I say regular mousse, I mean like the foam, um, you know, just regular mousse like this kind of mousse, okay? And that's the kind you want to use like an inch down from, because you don't want it to weigh your hair down. This one will botify this light airy mousse. Look how much I have gone through so many of these, it's crazy. But um, if you prefer something to spray on, they have like the little, um, the root booster. My mom really likes this. She has used the, uh, the Revlon, uh, what's the one we both tried? It. It's called Guts and we didn't like it. It made our hair greasy. She loves this and is always saying, I'm picking this up. Is there, it's sold at Hair Cuttery now, but you can get 17% off on their website. Um, they're at some hair cutteries. I don't know if they're at all hair cutteries. They're at one in my town out of the two hair cutteries. So the, what I'm putting on my hair now is called Cebu uh, Shaping Cream. What it does is it defines and moisturizes. It's going to let me define that curl. You can put this on dry or wet. As you can see, my hair is just about dry. And that's cool because what we're doing today is kind of like finger style in any way. Um, you guys have seen me review the Sadu Revolution 4000. I, we had like a giveaway on that. And I'm using the Hanna Elite Hair Straightener, the one inch. I did reviews on those too. And we had giveaways on them. and. The videos are not, if they're not back up in two weeks, I'm, I might start reviewing these things again if you want me to. So, I'm trying to get them back up really hard, but as everybody keeps saying, well, we've already seen those, but for the people that haven't, it's, it's harder. So, if you want to see them, let me know. So, I'm going to start blow drying. I'll let you see how I get it going. I won't make you sit through the whole thing. Everything, nothing super about that. 
Okay, now I'm just going to leave it like it is and I'm just going to start working with the um, straightener. I don't, I'm just kind of like winging it today. I don't know, like, do you want to see? Let's see. Back here, let's give it a little height. So I'm going to go up, roll it, up, roll it. See how that, um, that foam moves like if I don't put any products in my hair my hair is not gonna like just sit like that without me putting like spraying it first or something this is how you start out by doing that rocker look too but right now I just I'm trying to get some some softness to the edges okay so that's how I'm gonna roll it under Oh, I'll be so glad when this whole mouth thing is over with. I was eating something several months back and the very, very back tooth broke and we've been trying to save it, trying to save it and we just couldn't. So I just, it was going to cost me, oh my gosh, so much money. Okay, here we go. What I'm doing. I have my hair dryer or my straightener and the good thing with this is you with the curling iron you can get it like a little because I haven't used my curling iron in so long when I do use it it's like oh my gosh I'm gonna crimp it because I'm turning it the wrong way so you just want to take it I barely I have it set on like uh, 400 and I can feel the product in it that gives it this given it texture, but it's not heavy at all. Alright, so I'm going to just go a little bit like that. See how it just got a little bit sticking out? I don't want to bother these because I feel like it might be too much. And if we get through it and I'm like, oh, there's too much sticking out, then we can, we can change that. So let's go ahead and we'll come down. You can repeat it. See, so you got that, like that sideways thing going on there. Grab it. Repeat it. <laughs> Nothing that I really do with my hair is ever structured. My hair takes like no time ever. Um, let's see. Should we do any flips out over here? Let's see how it looks. If it looks silly, we will change it. I'm going to keep these little things. I think that looks a little too much out. So let's put that back down under. And having that, uh, that just a little touch of that, sh that thermal shine, something else you can use. It's like their polishing gloss that protects your hair, their uh, argon oil. They have a light one for those with fine hair or for anyone that, or for blondes that, you know, just don't, that feel like they're a little nervous about putting argon oil in their hair. They have a light formula. I like to put that on my legs. So, all right. So now we have just these few little pieces right here. I'm going to run back over them. All right, and then I'm here's where the product comes in. This one right here might be a little bit too much. So I'm going to lay that back down. This reminds me a little bit of like um Here's where you can start taking your fingers, but I'm going to get some product on my fingers real quick. A lot of people ask me the difference between origumi and the sticky rice, and I'm going to show you right now. The origumi um, is more like a, I'll ta a lot of times I take this right out of the lid, it's more like this. But it's not the ones where you come out of the hairdresser feeling like, oh my gosh, take me home. I've got to wash my hair. So what I'm going to do, I like to use that in the body of my hair. 
the more hair you have, the better this is. It, um, the way they describe it is it, it's pliable styling fibers that build volume and then the ground mica in it adds shine. So, I like how they put mica in some of their products. They do that with that, um, that other product that I use all the time in the brown too. Alright, so that's what the Origumi does and this the sticky rice is one where it's it's a little bit harder and you have to rub. And if you have fingernails, sometimes you'll get a little bit on the inside. I like to take my other fingernail, take it out, <laughs> and it's perfect because then you can just rub it on the other hand and rub your fingers together. And that's when you can come together and just kind of like piece it. And you know, if you if you want to do this under, it works the same way. We can, if you want the front like that and add a little bit of body in the back, we can do that. Okay, I have some faux finish and we'll go ahead and get the back of it finished. Let me step around. I can never see in my videos what the back of my hair looks like, so I usually just try to do it with my fingers. I hate to get it on my camera and face in that direction, so. So hopefully that's all right. Most days I have a mirror where I can turn around and look. I don't do my hair in my other room because there's carpeting and there's just, it would, the hairspray, you know, I can, I'm always wiping this floor up in here, and as you can see behind me, my husband, I'm glad he's not here, but he's not the best painter ever. He fixed a hole in the wall where we were moving a piece of furniture, and we were putting it in here until we got the other piece of furniture out, and it fell against the wall, and he had to plaster the wall. Yeah, and there's like, right here is where that hole was, and I love him so much, but he he's not a carpenter. Alright, so there's the look, you guys. I mean, it's just like super easy. I got the video that I had. This is kind of the look I did before my videos got hacked off my channel. And I'm going to be doing, everybody wants to see me use that palette again that silhouette palette for other looks and I will. They're, that thing is so versatile. It's unbelievable. It's for every skin type. And you can just keep playing with this until you get the look that you want. And this hairspray, I mean, you can just take more sticky rice. You can make it one flip if you want. If you don't want a bunch of different flips, make it one. Do what you want with your hair. I mean, hair is made to be creative and then I like to take the sticky rice this is what I'm saying why when I do that rocker look for you guys this I'm going to get this trimmed up so I like to take the sticky rice while it's long like this and just kind of push it down just be very effortless with it no really rhyme or reason till today's look I just thought I would wing it I had a couple people ask me how to get it to flip upwards and that's how you do it and if you have any questions just let me know again if you want more of these layers you can even go back in with the styling iron again see how you get you've got that product in there and my hair with it if it were a little bit shorter right here would really show you like Oh, I love Halle Berry's hair, and I think I may do something like that. You guys tell me. What do you think? Should I get it cut like that? Like that short, where I can show you guys how, like, the super pixie look? Not, like, boyish, but, you know, there we go. I like it like that. That's, that's something that I would do. It reminds me of, like, that little guy Herbie from the, remember the, um, the clay story with the reindeer? 
whenever I do my hair, my sister does her hair like this, and I do my hair like this, we think, or I say that we look like Herbie, or Hermie, some people call him, and Herbie, other people say, but he's the little guy that wants to be the dentist, the elf. So, here's my Herbie look. I hope you guys like it, and have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.